this video, we will introduce a potential new research direction in artificial neural networks inhibiting monosematicity. After decades of development, ANN had a large increase in skill. In recent years, large language models have shown amazing performance, which is partially explained and a contribution of emergence. Emergence refers to a gradual improvement with a smaller scale but a rapid enhancement with the skill surpasses a threshold. This leads to an interesting question. People increase the model skill and get better results, but what has changed underlying the process? When interpret the performance of models across different skills, pioneer works propose the concepts for correlations between neurons and features. A monosematic neural is supposed to only activate for one specific feature where a polysematic neural outputs similar values for different features. It is interesting to find that larger models have lower monosematicity, which had a lower performance drop if a monosematic neural is turned off. Existing evidence leads to an assumption the decrease in monosematic may be a key factor in achieving higher performance as the model scale increases. As an analogy, similar to a student who memorizes QA repeatedly for short-term gain, an ANN forms monosematic neurons to store answers without generality. To develop reasoning ability, a student needs to abandon rote memory. Similarly, a large model needs to inhibit monosematicity, forming complex circuits as emergent abilities. Without induction, the current models decrease monosematicity passively. So now, what if we inhibited it proactively? In this paper, we first design a metric to detect monosematicity and then propose a method to inhibit it. We achieve better results in various tasks and results with larger scales are coming. Here are links to find us. Thank you for watching.